Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. Today I want to talk to you about breathing. Breathing is one of those things we do all the time without actually thinking about it. Now, actually when you do think about it, it's quite interesting. Now we know the lungs do a very important job. They absorb oxygen from the air that we breathe and they allow us to expel gases in our bloodstream like carbon dioxide when we breathe out. But let's think about how we breathe. Well, we breathe in and breathe out. When we need to be more efficient with our breathing, we breathe deeper and we can push out more. Sometimes when we need to breathe even more efficiently than that, we breathe more often. We do all of these things when we exercise. And when we exercise, the idea is that the body's trying to get more oxygen for those muscles and trying to expel more carbon dioxide and other substances because of the buildup of uh, noxious substances in those muscles. Now, muscles themselves are why we breathe. The muscles between the ribs, the intercostal muscles, the diaphragm, which is a muscle inside our bodies, and also our chest muscles, our shoulder muscles, our arm muscles. These are all very, very important in helping us to breathe, particularly in times of distress. Like, for example, if we get a pneumonia. Like, for example, if we get COVID-19 lung disease. Now, when patients get this condition, they become breathless. They start breathing more rapidly. They breathe more deeply, they breathe out to expel more air because some of the lung is not working properly and some of it still is. And we're trying to optimize the lung that still is. The lung that isn't working isn't working because of either inflammation or phlegm buildup. And that's why it's important to do those deep breathing exercises that you may have seen on the internet and to learn to cough and also to breathe lying on a pillow on your chest in the prone position to try and expand the bases of the lungs at the back. I'm not going to do the exercises because there's a wonderful video that went viral and I don't want to steal my colleague's thunder. He did such a brilliant, brilliant job. So if you have developed some breathing difficulties with uh, coronavirus infection, Find that video and do those exercises, they will help you. Now, the stronger your breathing muscles are before you get an infection, the better for you, because it means that you will better cope with the difficulties of breathing if the lungs are in distress. Now, sometimes we breathe deeper and deeper and push out harder and harder and breathe more and more rapidly until we get exhausted. And that's when we're unable to put enough oxygen into the bloodstream. And that's when often patients need to come into hospital. If patients get extremely exhausted and also if the lungs are so bad that they're not able to do their job properly, we then have to help the patient physiotherapy and perhaps even ventilation on the ventilator. Now, a ventilator is a system whereby we deliberately with medicines paralyze the muscles of the patient so they can't breathe against the ventilator. We give pain relief through the bloodstream so the patient doesn't feel pain. And we also sedate the patient so they are not aware of what's going on. We put a pipe into the airway and the ventilator pumps air into the lungs and then allows the lungs to relax. We can modulate the temperature, the amount of oxygen, uh, and also the humidity of that inhaled air to try and op optimize the amount of oxygen that gets into the bloodstream. Now, we can also do other things like suction the lungs to get rid of the phlegm and uh, place the patient in a front-based position lying on their chest, prone to try and expand the bases of the lungs. And we found that this is a very effective method, particularly in patients with COVID-19 infection. Now, there is a certain circumstance where ventilation will not even work. And that is a situation where the lungs become so severely um, disturbed that they cannot any longer deliver oxygen into the bloodstream. Then we can do another treatment, which is called ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. This is a way by which we put pipes into the blood vessels of the body and literally pump in dissolved oxygen into the bloodstream directly. Um, this is um, pretty much a last resort for patients until their own lungs can recover. Now, the point I really want to make here is Get your breathing apparatus really strong now so that if you are one of those unfortunate individuals that gets really unwell, then you're going to better be able to cope with the scenario of having to breathe more difficult or being able to get off a ventilator more quickly. Because if you start stronger, you're going to lose less of that breathing apparatus strength. 
And that breathing apparatus strength, you can lose very, very rapidly if you end up on a ventilator. Mm -hmm.